Hello, I am here with Nick Banks and Batiste Supa, as I was instructed to say. And we're just here to congratulate Nick on his win. Thank you. And ask him a little bit, we want to know, um, what did you do specific to train for this? Did you know your uh, opponent's weak points or anything like that? Did you do anything in specific? Uh, you know what, actually, uh, we were training for this guy, Brock Holmes. Uh, for some reason, he had to back out of the fight. And then they switched the opponent again named Mike Hope. He backed out of the fight. And then they got this guy, Ed Marshall, Edmund Marshall. Yeah. So then I kind of, last minute kind of thing. So, yeah, today I found out I was fighting Edmund Marshall. So it wasn't really any adjustments I had to make. Um, just kind of went in there and kind of felt it out and reacted to whatever happened, you know. So this was like extremely, you didn't really have a game plan. You just kind of went in there hoping what you had been practicing for was going to do the trick. Exactly. Yeah, I just kind of prepared and see what happens, you know. Well, what was the regular fight plan? I mean, what did you do to prepare as far as diet, nutrition, things like that? Um, you know what? As far as that nutrition, just try to eat too, like you know good, nothing too bad. I didn't have to cut too much weight. I walk around at like 215, and the fight was at 205, so I only had to cut about 10 pounds of weight, which wasn't too bad. Just eat healthy, and then you know just five days a week training, you know running, rounds of sparring, rolling, you know just working hard. So then you cut to 205, but you did you and that with the weigh-in was yesterday. Uh, the weigh-in was yesterday. Yes. Yesterday? So how much did you gain in that time? Uh, like, oh, <laughs> yeah. okay, so okay. check this out. I wasn't notified that the weigh-ins were yesterday. Oh. So we had to show up early today and weigh in. So um, we had actually weigh in at 210 today. Normally I'm about 215, so I only had to cut about five pounds. So I was actually weighed in at 210 today, yeah. Okay, so. awesome. All right, so you made it then. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. Awesome. So how'd you feel about the fight tonight? Were you really secure in it? Did you feel good? I felt good. Um, I really didn't know what this guy was about, so I just kind of, you know, like I said, went in there and kind of felt it out. Um, I felt good, though, you know. Um, I won, so I just went in there and I saw the takedown, took the takedown, uh, got side position, almost TKO'd him in the first round. Second round came out and he threw like a spinning back kick and he fell and just wound up TKO on him. That's what I was going to say. I did notice at one point it looked like he tried to throw a kick and just, I didn't know if he lost his footing or if it was something you did. And I wanted to ask you about that. Did it, was it a legitimate slip? Yeah, he, he straight up, yeah, he just slipped. He just slipped and fell. So I was like, okay, you know. <laughs> I'll take it. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And what exactly do you do? Tell us a little bit about your position. Well, I'm, uh, I'm basically one of the head trainers there. I'm one of the partners of the owners of the facility. Um, I bring in different coaches in different areas of the, of the arts, like boxing coaches, wrestling coaches, Muay Thai coaches, jiu-jitsu coaches, and just depending on the opponents we're going to fight is how we'll, we'll kind of guide the fighter to work with these different coaches. Gotcha. So did you, I mean, you had a lot of faith in your fighter tonight, obviously. Oh, yeah. I, I was 100% confident. I was more confident than him. Yeah. Way more oh, yeah, confident. <laughs> That's always good. You got to have, the, you know, somebody backing you up and supporting you at all yeah, times. So. When, when we walked into the arena, he looked over at the arena and he was freaking out on how big it was. Yeah. It was like, oh, my God, look how big this is. And we were just laughing, dude. So then you're not a ham, I take it. No, no. Do you want some of mine? Because I love it. I'll walk in the middle and be like... Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> well, that wraps us up here for IE MMA with Nick Banks and Batiste Supa. Join us next time and see all the thrills and spills on the ring.